walking along the Nippon Causeway uh, towards the one bridge. So this is a solid built causeway with no flow of water between the ocean and the lagoon except this one little opening up above. So this is a way that people in their boats can get out to the open ocean. You need a passageway through the reef. It is very hard to get through out into the open ocean to fish um, from the ocean side itself because it means getting past the breaking waves. One way to think about it is the uh, uh, the problem Tam, Tom Hanks had in Castaway. He was on that island for four years because it was, for among other reasons, it was so hard for him to build a boat and get out past the big waves breaking over the reef. So we have a passageway here, and this is the way most people pass through to get out into the open ocean. The challenge, of course, is it's been silting up over time, right? Some of this is because the causeway has changed the flow of water and sediment. And now, you can see where those two fishermen are walking out behind to my right. Those two, those two spear fishermen, that's the passageway. That's the way we normally get a boat through here, and you can see how low it is right now. Unless you were maybe in a kayak, it would be pretty much impassable. So you have to come here to medium to high tide to even get through these days. And that would have been different even in my first visit here 10 years ago. So this little opening up ahead here, this is it. There used to be complete open passage for water and sediment between Baseo, which are the trees up ahead, uh, up straight ahead, and then if you look behind me, by Riki, this should have been a complete open passageway of water and sediment, and now all we're left with is this. Causeways are a big problem in atolls. People need a connection to get from one island to another. In the old days, they just used boats and ferries. Um, but you build a causeway, and it blocks the flow of water and sediment, hurts the water quality generally of the lagoon because there's less flushing from the open ocean. It's one of the many reasons that the lagoon is so polluted here. Um, and it also, also again, hurts that, hurts that sediment flow. The example, best example of that is the islet of Bikimon, which I'm not sure if you can even see it out there. If you look out to your left in the lagoon, if this was the 1970s, you would see a little sandy dot out there with some trees on it and a small maniaba and you can't see anything there now. Bikimon was deprived of sand over the years by, uh, by the change in the causeway, by the building of the causeway. And as a result, you know, it slowly eroded away, the coconut trees died, and all that's left is a sand, is a, a sand spit that sort of emerges at, um, at low 